What's up guys, it's Carter, and today we're going to be looking at the One Wheel Pint versus an entry level EUC. Today's EUC we're going to be looking at is the InMotion V8, otherwise known as the Solo Glide 3. I just want to say right at the beginning, both of these are excellent choices, especially if you don't have a one wheel device or a PV in general. Definitely recommend either device. I've ridden about 700 miles on one wheels in total and about 1000 on electric unicycles. So let's get into the video. So for price, we have the one wheel pint coming in at $950. This is gonna be without a fender or cap. I'd recommend getting both of those if you are getting the one wheel. For the InMotion V8, that's gonna come around $900. You're gonna have to get that on e-wheels because InMotion doesn't carry the V8 anymore. They now carry the InMotion V8F, which is the slightly upgraded model. I'd still recommend just getting the V8 on e-wheels. I got my InMotion V11 from eWheels, everything was smooth and their customer service was great. So for speed and range, you're going to get a better deal going with the electric unicycle because the range is 20 to 30 miles and a top speed of 19 miles per hour, compared to the one wheel pint that only has a 6 to 8 mile range and a top speed of 16 miles per hour. For build quality, I'm going to have to give it to the one wheel, it is made in the US and the electric unicycle is made in China. The plastic on the one wheel is just slightly better and harder, but the electric unicycle is waterproof, so if you're ever taking it in the rain or anything, maybe you want to go with that one. For ease of use, I'd definitely give it to the one wheel over the electric unicycle. The electric unicycle is really hard to use right at the beginning compared to the one wheel. Most people can get up on the one wheel and try it out and almost no one can get up on the electric unicycle for the first time. For commuting, I'd give it to the electric unicycle because it does have that skinny tire which makes you feel really nimble and going off curbs and stuff is a lot easier on the electric unicycle than if you were to take them on the one wheel pint. For off-roading, I'm going to have to give it to the one-wheel pint because the wider tire makes going over loose sand and loose dirt and twigs, pebbles, easier because you have more surface touching the ground compared to the electric unicycle. For looks, it honestly just comes down to whatever your preference is. If you like the frontward facing stance or the sideways facing stance, most people would say the sideways facing stance looks cooler. I do end up getting more compliments on the electric unicycle with the frontward facing stance, which is honestly pretty surprising just because how many people like the sideways facing stance more, but it's really going to come down to whatever one you're better at is going to be what one people think is cooler. So the best way to look better on the device is just to be better at it. That being said, there's not a whole lot of tricks you can do with either one, but the electric unicycle you can lift a leg up, which is a little bit more impressive than not doing it on the one wheel, I guess. When you have to carry the pint, you're going to have to grab the handle and lift it up. And the electric unicycle, you can grab by the handle or you can pull out the trolley handle, which is super nice to have on that. And it'll just keep the motor on and keep it upright as you push it along. For safety, I'm going to give it to the electric unicycle. I pretty much always feel like the motor's strong enough to carry me and everything. The one wheel seems a little bit iffy sometimes and the pushback is honestly pretty scary, especially right at first. For lights and riding at night, both of them do a pretty good job of this. They both have headlights and both have taillights. The one-wheel pint taillight is a lot brighter than the InMotion V8, but the InMotion V8 has color-changing lights on the side, which makes you visible to drivers. So I'd say the InMotion V8 just has a slight advantage there too. For fun factor, I'd give it to the one-wheel pint because it's just so easy to get up and ride around, and the snowboard stance does feel really nice. 
So overall, I really like both of them, but honestly, I think the electric unicycle is just a better deal. That's just my opinion though. If you are leaning towards one, I'd probably go with whatever one you're leaning towards. You're probably gonna have more fun with it. If you don't even know what an electric unicycle was until this video, go check out some of my other videos I have about electric unicycles. If you're looking at a little bit better of an electric unicycle, I'd recommend the Inmotion V11. I have a review of that linked down in the description if you wanna go check that out. This is Carter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Actually, woo. shows you how reliable they are. Do you have that on video? Yeah. <laughs>